Yes. All right, we're about to test this ladder right now, so I have a little construction here that I need to figure this out. What else is this? It looks like it's uh, to prevent from this to go down. Not good. Not supposed to be there. Now, as soon as I release this arm, I gotta be careful because this is gonna want to come down very fast. So I'm gonna pre I'm gonna press clear. I'm gonna clear. Clear. And I'm gonna go like this. It's supposed to go like this. All right, so the only issue that I have here is this lever here. It, I'm not supposed to have two hands to, to release this lever and to move this at the same time. It's supposed to be a single action release. It's supposed to come here and just let go and it goes down by itself. I had to figure it out first by using two hands and I'm not supposed to. Okay. You just uh, press over here. Thank you. Firescape Engineer summary video. We are at um, San Diego. This is the east side firescape. There's two firescapes. Let me talk about this fire escape really quick. This fire escape is uh, original hardware. I have uh, rivets and welds throughout the fire escape. I'm about to test this ladder in a few minutes, but I'm waiting for them to relocate um, the AC unit below or the heater, whatever it is. Now, let's talk about this fire escape here for a second. All, most of my flats here, I, I, well, this one is a very obvious. It's pulling away because of the rust here. So I already constructed that these need to be uh, all, uh, remove the old rivets, like at one point there was rivets here, and replace it with uh, new bolts. Wherever there is a weld, and we need to do, double up with a connection. Here we have, uh, it, this looks like it was an addition to the fire escape because I see they added to the existing fire escape. Because this is welded, I need this to be duplicated with bolts. This particular size is gonna require half inch bolts and we'll have a one, two, three, about four bolts here. Let's talk about the staircase. Now in the staircase we have an all welded uh, uh, flats as a, as a step. I already talked about with this customer here that we in order for us to certify this fire escape, we're either gonna have to uh, add clips underneath here, angle clips with two bolts on the top and two bolts on the side on every single, on every single tread if we're going to go to the route of refurbishment, if we don't go to the route of refurbishment, then this fire escape will have to undergo a load test to confirm um, the structural sound. Now, let's talk about this railing here. We have this railing uh, also welded, as you can see here. As you can see here, so I need two bolts in here, three eight bolts in here, two three eight bolts to double up this connection because I can't guarantee this weld any longer. Now, and my last thing, again, the, re the problem repeats throughout the fire escape, but the last thing I want to talk about is my supports that go into the wall. I have about two, four, and I got the ones below. What we have here, we have problems falling on the cement here. And I'm going to point out the one on the top. Here, what we have is already a, a, all that piece of the, the block, it's already loose. All these supports need to be uh, remove, repack, and re-cement to make it structural sound. And also any old bolts like these need to be replaced with brand new three, uh, half inch bolts. Now if you look it up here, in this connection here, coming from the wall, we also have the same issue. These bolts need to be replaced with three inch bolts. And this is again, this is in order to cert certify this fire escape. More, com more conversation needs to be done with the fire department to to find out what option they want us to go with this. But um, in order to certify, certify this fire escape, we need to do two things. One is a full refurbishment and or a spot repairs, which is the most common problems that we found along with a load test. This is Fire Escape Engineers, East Side Fire Escape, 1-800-649-3333, 1-800-649-3333.